It's time for our tech segment, and joining us now is our technology reporter, Paul Diho. Paul. Hello, Esther. How are you? The rapid growth of the internet across Africa is connecting millions of people on the continent, but it's also creating new opportunities for cyber crime, which cost African countries billions of dollars every year. Experts say cyber crime poses a very real danger in Africa. Some countries are taking steps to regulate the industry and curb the rising threat of cyber attacks. Joining me to talk about the cyber crime trends in Africa is Nabiu Telahun, a cyber security expert based here in the Washington, D.C. Hello. Hey, Welcome. Paul. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Uh, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. So doing tell good. me about uh, what is a cyber security. We talk about it, but uh, a lot of people don't understand it. What it is? Sure. So cyber security is a, it's a, it's a branch of IT um, that is responsible for data and information protection from uh, malicious users and authorized users uh, by way of three different segments. So there is confidentiality, which is stopping attackers from accessing data. There is integrity, which is stopping attackers from making modification to the data that's already available. And uh, there is um, data availability, which is generally making sure that the data is always protected and available to the rightful users. So in short, it's a branch of IT that stops unauthorized users accessing information that's stored in a corporate environment. So as an expert, uh, when you're seated on your computer, what are you looking for? What, uh, what is it that uh, you're looking at and saying, oh, this could be a threat? Sure. So there are um, many uh, technologies and uh, systems that are put in place in most government agencies or corporate environments um, to circumvent or detect and mitigate risks that's been posed by attackers worldwide. So sometimes you will notice that there are data that should be available that's not available anymore, or there is a, a malfunction of systems that you're expected to work, doesn't work anymore or there is a constant what's called denial of service attack, which is stopping people from accessing systems. So these are the kind of signs that you do get generally when you sit on a computer and try and figure out what is going on. Uh, uh, Africa is not uh, immune when it comes to cyber, uh, cyber crime or cyber security. Uh, so what are some of those uh, trends on the continent? Yeah, sure. So cyber security generally costs the world um, economy around half a trillion dollar. It's a very big threat. It's, it's, it's massive. And Africa right now, um, about 47% uh, percent of the attack that generally comes from the continent of Africa or passes through Africa towards developing nations. So, and and the problem the problem with that is that it's not something you can isolate by saying or develop you know developing nations should protect their own systems without really addressing the issue in Africa. And it's like climate change, right? So you can't look at it in isolation. Everybody has to take a part. And when you look at African countries, even though the technology in terms of its development isn't that great, um, the threat is still there. So it is in developed nations' interest to make sure that African countries are very well protected and are aware of the threat that's been posed by um, attackers from cybersecurity perspective. Uh, you recently worked on a project funded by the African Union about cybersecurity. Uh, explain it. So, yeah, so um, Symantec, one of the largest um, cybersecurity firms in the world, um, is commissioned by the African Union to come up with a study to find out where we are as a continent in terms of our protection. And it's interesting what Semantic has found that um, even though you know, the country is a young, you know, young country because the median age group in Africa is about 20 years old, um, it's only 20% of the people are, or 20% 20, 20 of the countries um, are aware of cybersecurity issues or at least have a policy framework in place to protect from attackers. And you look at most threats generally come from countries like South Africa, um, Egypt, Cote d'Ivoire, Tunisia. Uh, and this generally shows you that developed nations are not aware of the threat that's currently coming from African nations. Yeah, unfortunately, we've run out of time. And that was uh, Nabi Hutalan, a cybersecurity expert based here in Washington, D.C. Back to you, Esther. Thank you, Paul. And that's our show for today. From all of us here in Washington, have a very good evening.